bare necessities will be these five. Food, water, sleep, eliminating and social contact. They are absolutely necessary and has to be there to have a fairly okay life. So, yeah. So, they are absolutely basic. First, number one and two, food and water. They are Maybe you, you think about it all the time. Okay, you give your dogs food, I'm sure. But we have to have it in mind that food, enough, is essential. Quality food is even better, of course. Often enough not to be hungry. The blood sugar level, you know that. If you eat only once a day, you feel that your blood sugar will drop very low between the meals. It's the same with dogs. So they should have at least two meals a day. Uh, I give my dog two meals a day and in the middle of the day a treat search so we can find treats in the garden. So that means actually three times he gets some food. Feeling hunger will make a dog stressed and unconcentrated. He will be scared, at least puppies will be really scared if they are hungry and cannot find food. And it can, I know puppies who have been having a starvation period, they never get over it. It will actually stay with them the rest of their lives and they can be hysterical around food. they can get really serious problems. Uh, it's the same with some people who, who have starvation periods. They also get like, I get whatever I want. I cannot throw anything. I have to eat it, you know. It's the same. Water is just as necessary as food. Limited access to water might give the dog kidney problems and other physical problems. And enough water is a must. You should always have fresh water. Oops. Um, a couple of places in Europe, it's a fashion at the moment that the breeders lock the puppies in for the night around 4 or 5 in the afternoon and they get nothing to drink till next morning. It's dangerous. It's really, really dangerous. You must never think about it. They need access to water all the time. Bare necessity number three, sleep. Which is much more important than you maybe think about. <coughs> we know from research that dogs need a lot more sleep than we do. It um, might be 14 to 18 hours of sleep every day. And be sure that your dog gets enough sleep. He really needs it. Uh, if he doesn't get enough sleep, he will get uh, stress problems and it will affect the brain. He will lose brain cells, cannot learn properly and have a lot of big problems with learning and remembering and whatever. Actually, uh, sometimes I hate researchers, but I did research on it and I find, found that after six days uh, of not sleeping, the dogs died. It's that serious. And I've seen some cases with big behavior problems because the dog didn't get enough sleep. He was kept awake all the time, playing and going and doing this and doing that and never had a peaceful moment. So they only slept when people slept and that's not enough. People 
sleep a lot less than dogs do. So, dogs are polyphasic sleepers, that means they sleep in many small blocks during the day. They sleep for an hour or two, and then they are awake and do something, and then they sleep again, do a little, and then they sleep again, and so on. Uh, and that's how they sleep. That's how they are. And let them have plenty of opportunities to sleep and rest after you've done something with them. Don't keep going, 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 going all the time. Some people think that coming home from work, they have to keep them activated the rest of that day because they have bad conscience of being away from them. Forget about it. The best you can do is to sit still and let the dog sleep beside you. They are also social sleepers. They need someone else around to be able to sleep properly. That has to do with survival in the wild. When a group of dogs or wolves are together, there's always one awake or alert, so he can be the one telling the others about danger approaching. Uh, that's the same with all pack animals, and it's the same with our dogs. So, if a dog is alone, left to himself, he will not sleep deeply. He will not get a proper sleep. He will just doze away in a kind of waiting position, not sleeping properly. Uh, an adult dog who is really safe in his home, uh, he can, he can sleep properly, but puppies, young dogs cannot. Impossible. They need to feel safe that someone is having a responsibility and can take care of them and tell them when there's danger around. That's when they can't sleep properly. So, they sleep best when you are around. For puppies, close. For adult dogs, maybe enough that they know you are there in the house or can see and hear you. Puppies need the closeness. So, they also need to change sleeping places. They need choices where to sleep. Because during REM sleep, they need to have space to stretch out. Um, they have two kinds of sleep. The brain sleep, where the brain slows down, cools down. <coughs> and that's about 80% of all sleep. And then you have 20% which is REM sleep, where the brain is extremely active. And uh, working on things that have happened to the dog, it's a kind of, of mental safety line. So they sleep, and during them sleep, you will see them move and do all kinds of running and making sounds, and that's because the brain is, is processing things they need to process. And then they need space around. They need to stretch out. They need to have a lot of space. So my dog, for instance, can curl up in the sofa, and then he goes down and stretches out on the floor, something like that. And they must have the possibility to do it. So, stretching out in that REM sleep. During the brain sleep, they can lie in all kinds of positions. They can be curled up to keep warm. They can be on their back. They can lie in all kinds of funny positions. Uh, but during REM sleep, they just stretch out. Total sleeping time, 80% brain sleep, 20% REM sleep. Um, during the brain sleep, the temperature in the brain gets lower and gives the brain cells possibility to grow and develop. Brain sleep is necessary for the brain to develop and build new brain cells. <coughs> which it does every day in under normal conditions. 
and they should build new brain cells every day. The, the brain changes all the time and it should be for the better growing brain cells, not losing them. Your brains are not the same today as it was tomorrow or yesterday. Changing all the time. If you get mental stimulation today, your brain will be different tomorrow. <coughs> if you have absolutely no stimulation one day, your brain is different the day after. <coughs> all the time. So, the REM sleep, the brain activity is high, often even more when they are awake and the brain processes experiences from the day. You know, I, you have heard, you might have had the same proverb in your country, I'll sleep on it. <laughs> and that's right. I do that. When there's something I cannot figure out, I, I tell myself, oh, I'll sleep on it. And when I wake up, the brain has found the solution. Because it's been active during the REM sleep and uh, has found out what I need to know. Do it all the time. And dogs also do that. Yeah, I talked about that. If they don't get quality sleep enough, they will be chronically stressed. <coughs> with all its consequences, and they will not grow up healthy. So, bear necessity number four. Be able to pee and poop when they need to. Not when you decide. If you have somebody